Hello, I'm John with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on event blocks uh, using make code and the micro bit microcontroller. Uh, let's get started. So uh, I've got my simulator and code editor up here. I've got a blank uh, file, and I'm going to show you how event blocks work. So uh, event blocks are these um, types of blocks. They generally have like this word on in them like on start, that's an event block. Um, and uh, they tell the microbit to do things when it receives input or, or at a certain point in time. Uh, so all the code I put inside this on start block, the microbit is going to perform that code uh, when it receives power, when it starts up. So I can put, uh, let's put a little sequence of code in here. I'm gonna use the show LEDs block and I'll make, I'll make the microbit show an X. Great. Uh, if I hit play, then my simulator shows the X. That, that's the microbit. So simulating the microbit, getting power and showing that. But I can make longer sequences too if I want to. Uh, like I can do a pause and then another LED. Zoom out slightly. Uh, let's do an O. And I'll have it pause for longer than that. I'll have it pause for a second. Uh, and then I'll do one more pause after that. Beautiful. So that's a thousand milliseconds or one second. So now you can see, uh, oh, I'll stop it. When I hit play, so this is like the microbit getting power, do X, then O, and then that's the end, right? That's, that's all the microbit's gonna do because that's the end of the program. It doesn't have anything left. Now, there's more than one kind of event block. So that's on start, but there's also this forever event block. I can do different kinds of things. I'm gonna copy that and paste it in there. I'll copy and paste that block as well. But then uh, let's do a different LED. Let's do X and then Y instead of O. So you can kind of see the difference. Great. Now, in the forever event block, the microbit behaves slightly differently. Instead of just running that sequence of code once, it's going to do the on start instructions, and then when it gets to the end of that, it'll start the forever loop. And in all the code in the forever loop, the microbit is going to repeat over and over again, forever and ever. You can see we're going back X and Y, X and Y. And it'll keep going until I hit stop or until I like, unplug my microbit. Uh, so those are some some event blocks. Uh, there's lots of event blocks in the uh, in the microbit, uh, you know, library. So there's like this uh, on button A event block. I'm gonna modify this. So this event block, the microbit will perform the instructions when uh, someone presses its A button. So we do our on start instructions, and if I click that A button, it does those instructions. Pretty cool. There's a lot, lot of event blocks. Go check them out. Go browse through to see if you can find some. Uh, but that is pretty much all you know to know the basics of event blocks with Microbit. If you have any questions about these concepts or you run into any trouble, please get in the comments uh, below this video. I would love to help you out. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.